All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. After last month's video recapping Mustard's ST conversion and giving an update on that car, we are back today with my little daily instead, the 2015 hatchback, because there's one part, or rather a series of parts, on it that I want to quickly address. So, pretty much whenever photos of this are posted online and shared around, a question or two will come in regarding the lip kit it has. It seems the rear balance is the most commonly asked about part, but people will generally ask about the kit in general, what it is. It seems that not many people realize it's actually a factory option. And I just wanted to give a little rundown on it today in conjunction with a blog article covering all of the part numbers and additional info should you want to retrofit this. So just a quick video today to highlight this. Extra info will be on the site and this will hopefully answer some questions about it and maybe if you're looking for a lip kit or something to dress up your own hatch or sedan this will give you an idea. Please ignore the mess by the way it's tail end of winter as you can tell by how dirty the car is and some installs are just starting for the new season on this thing right now so there's a few parts strewn about but back to this thing so balance side skirts and the front lip that you saw a little bit of a moment ago this is this came on a few packages so that i guess there's no one true name for it it's typically just referred to as the sap kit the sport appearance package kit so this was available only on at least in north america only on 2015 and 2016 se's hatches and sedans could get it the skirts and front lip would be the same since those parts are common between the two body styles the valances out back are different so if you remember a little while back we did a video on how we put the st valance on mustard and we highlighted that the hatch and sedan valances are different sizes so these have to be specific to the body style you have the other parts are the same so they fit regardless but yeah it's the sap kit it comes with this rear valance it's actually a two-piece so the two items you see here that are body color are the same panel and then this is just a grill that clips in the sides are the only other side skirt that ford offered for these cars there was either the unpainted textured black plastic pieces or these more pronounced ones these are the same on the SAP cars as well as STs and RSs exact same part so those replace the textured pieces and then up front it's a little tight in here but I will be overlaying some pictures throughout the whole thing you have this multi-piece lip assembly so one different side panel with <laughs> in my case some souvenirs from the prior owner still and then the more pronounced lip in the center along with some different grills so yes this was a factory option you could get it a few different ways in different packages on the two different years i was double checking all the brochures and other info and it seems that it was only 15 and 16 by 17 they still had similar packages but they dropped the kit specifically so they're not hugely common but they're not rare either you can find them out there the skirts, as mentioned, come off any upgraded focus, regardless of if it's an RSST or SAP. And then the front lip and rear balance were unique to this package. They fit right on. There's no tweaks you have to make to anything. I will point out that to run the front lip, obviously you need the facelift front end. To run the rear balance, you don't. So these can and have been adapted to pre-facelift cars, the 12 to 14s. I recall on the sedans, there's a little bit of trimming on the bumpers seam to get the valance to fit. I don't know if it's the same for hatches, but you can fit these. So if you have a 12 to 14, you can run this rear valance. Incidentally, the 12 to 14 cars had their own version of this called the Zetec kit. We only ever received it in 2014. Other markets, I think, had it some other years, but many people also know it as the Euro lip kit regardless another factory option although that one here is quite hard to find given its very limited availability so yeah that's basically all there is to it 
as I noted earlier, I will have on the blog some extra information for this. I will have all the part numbers for the complete assembly, front, sides, rear, the clips, the brackets, the hardware, so forth listed. So if you want to add this, I'll have all the info there. You can take the part numbers to Ford or eBay and search for them. As always, keep your eyes on junkyards in your area. Sometimes they do turn up and then these will just fit right on. OEM parts, so you get OEM fitment and quality, and they are a wonderful way to improve the look of a standard Mark III. In fact, it was one of the reasons I went for this exact car because even though it is just the daily, I knew I was going to want a lip kit of some sort on it. I really can't stand the unpainted black plastic trims on these cars as standard. So when I found this one and saw that it had the SAP kit, I knew it was just going to save me some time and money by buying this car instead of buying a different car and then retrofitting it. So yeah, there you go. The somewhat unknown factory optional lip kit for Mark 3.5s. Again, all the part numbers and other info will be in the blog linked below so you can go check that out, print it out if you want reference. And if you were curious, I hope that answered some questions for you. Anyway, thank you all for watching and until next time, have a good one.